thanks and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to go over everything you need to learn about how to set up and run your campaigns effectively. First of all, we need to create an order. Orders, we use it uh, to separate in between different advertisers. So if you work with um, multiple advertisers, you can make, create orders to difference their campaign. To create an order, it's just easy as going uh, to orders, new order. In this case, we're gonna create a campaign for Marco, which is the brand, and we're gonna run it on my site, XGN. In Advertiser, you're always going to choose your uh, website name, in this case, XGN. If you already have access to Organ, you will have your, the name of your website here, plus the house advertiser. This is what you need to choose to start running campaigns. Traffickers, you will just set up your name or whoever's account is going to be managing the campaigns. For us, it's going to be house. Now we go and create a line item. Now that we need to create our line item, line item is the section where you add all the settings that this campaign has to have, including the creatives. So this is the part where you will tell the system where and what to run. First of all, really important, you have to name the campaign. In this case, it's going to be Marcos March campaign. Now you have to give it uh, a priority on the system. So most of the times, you're going to be setting up house campaigns or also called out of promotion campaigns. Um, this is the lowest priority on the system. What it does is fill on sold inventory so you don't have blank space on your, on your page. That. Na, 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 na. It's really important to give it a size. In this case, set up a 300 by 600. And now we go to the delivery settings. Here's where you will set uh, the duration of the campaign. Uh, for this case, we're gonna start immediately. And as you can see here, since it's in a house campaign and it's set up on percentage, you can set it unlimited. Uh, in this case, what it, what it tells the system is that you want 100% of the impressions that were not sold, you wanna fill in with this campaign. Uh, for this purpose of this example, we're just gonna do it until the end of the month. Well, since it's your own campaign on your own website, rate is always going to be zero, uh, zero euros. Now, adjust delivery. Uh, we recommend leaving these settings as they are, but in this section, you have the space to set up a user cap. What this means is like you want to show one impression in one day to each user. Then uh, we move on to ad targeting. This part is really important because uh, if you tell the system that you want to run a network, the system will think that you want to run in all R89 network. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have access to that. So you have always make, sh make sure you add your own website. In this case, it's going to be XGN. Once you choose your website, you'll notice that you have all the ad units that we already have set up for you. In case you have a specific ad unit you want to run this campaign, in, this is the best place to, to add it to the campaign. For me, it's going to be the whole website. Just going to add it, and there you go. Out of, out of network is out of the targeting. You go, you have more space to add more specific targeting, like geo-targeting, the type of device, type of browser, and everything else that you need. For this example, we're just going to add Netherlands. Sweet. and now we can save. What if then instead of a uh, percentage, instead of related to run the campaign indefinitely, you have a specific amount of impressions? In that case, you can set up as a standard campaign. What you need to know is that a standard campaign um, has authority over programmatic. So this will mean that you will serve this impression, well, but you will not be able to monetize that ad space. So we go and adding a creative this is just as easy as create a new creative. You have first have to name it. Name it, you drop your image. Make sure you add a click-through URL. In this 
case, I want this campaign to redirect to disk. That's right. And here you will have a space if you have um, if you have the need to add impression trackers or any type of trackers. Here you have the space to add as many as you need. Just make sure that you're not adding the click tracking here. You add it in the click tracking section, and you only have impressions in here. Once you have all this ready, you're gonna be able to save it. Once it's saved, you should be able to preview. How do you preview? You go on site, you select a URL from your website that contains the ad unit that you wanna, the placement where you wanna serve. And, and if everything was right, we should be able to see our ad in here. As we should see, we can click it. And then you will get a message that this click uh, an impression won't count for the, for, the, for the campaign. It's just uh, the preview tool is helping us here. Well, and now we know our campaigns have been successfully uploaded. What if instead of uh, displayed, you have, uh, you have to upload a video uh, because your advertiser is asking you for an outstream campaign or do you, you want to serve an outstream positions on your website? You create a new line item and even if it's a video, uh, you will always have to select uh, display. Then the rest of the steps are so usual. You name the campaign. You select the type of, uh, the type of line item you want to use. Sponsorship, just to go over that example. And in here, you will always have to select Austrian native. Then the rest is stays the same. You select your dates, how many impressions you need to. You select your website. XGN.nl. Save. And we save. Since this is a sponsorship, the system is going to be able to give you an an estimate of how many impressions can you make in a specific time range. So now that our line item is saved, we have to upload it. Go to new creative. We name it again. We give her our URL. And here on the video file section, we can choose grab our MP4 and drop it. Depending on how big the video is, it will take a bit um, to load. But uh, once this part finished loading, you yep, now we can save it. Then you get a notice that the video is transcoding. Once it's done transcoding, you're going to be able to create a preview. Now our creative is finally uploaded. We can see it at a preview. These are the only three sizes that our Google let us serve Outstream. Uh, and we can preview it the same way that we did with the display. We choose, um, we choose a link. Then we know that it has a position that we wanna preview. I'm ready for load. And it should be anywhere around here. Here we go. Now I can test the click. Now I can know that my video has been uploaded perfectly and there's no problem with the setup. What if instead of a MP4, you get a bass tag from your advertiser? Then steps are the same. You set up the outstream as it should be. Then you name it. This is a bass example. You add the link. In this case, we're gonna use this one. And here in the video section, make sure that you select Bass Redirect. And then on the Bass Tag URL, here's when you're gonna put your code or your link that you were provided with. For this campaign, it will be this one. Now you're gonna be, now you save it and wait for it to upload. Once, how do you wanna know it's already uploaded? The system will tell you that the creative has been created. And also, you're going to be able here to see all the, the, the available dimensions that we can serve uh, the ad. Even though the system tells you that you have all this dimension available, you're only going to be able to serve the, the three options that we saw in the last example. Yeah. What's the only hiccup with a bus tag and our solution? 
Like so right now, we're not gonna be able to create a preview. If you try to create a preview using this, you're just gonna get a, instead of the video, you're gonna get a, a label uh, on the position like this. So how do you test that your bass stack or the bass stack you were provided with works? Recommend to use a tool like this one. It's a generic uh, bass tester online. You paste your tag in here. You test your ad. You click it. And now you know that you were served with uh, that your bass tag served. If you really need to create a, a preview, uh, for the advertiser, we recommend you to set up a budget aside and just put the, uh, the campaign live and try to find it um, on a live environment. Well, this covers the basics on how to set up a campaign. I hope you learned a lot and if you have questions, please don't hesitate and contact us.